Hello guys, welcome back to Free Reacts. Have a wonderful day. Today we're going to be reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 7 episode 13. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. Are you sure you'll all be alright? You'll only be gone for two days. I think we've managed a bit longer than that. Right. <laughs> now he doesn't want to oh, leave. Dawn. This trip is important for the girls to understand the source of their power. Apparently someone told them that the vision quest consists of me driving them into the desert, doing the hokey so he's pokey, the girls on until a spooky rust quest trip. Spike's still in the basement. Hey. Hey. And he's locked up. Giles is off on the retreat. Give us all a chance for a breather, eh? From Giles? No, from the girls. From constant pitter patter of clomping teenage girly feet. <laughs> Just trying to stay out of their way. I noticed. Hmm. He's the one who did this to himself? Believe me, it's safer. Oh, I thought it's okay. Buffy did it to him, but he's doing it all to himself. Ow. 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 Oh, he's not done with him yet. The chip. God. God. The ship not... No, the first season? Poor Spike. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get a breather. Only eight episodes left, guys. Oh my god, that poor wife's sick. I try not to think about it. That for the other patient? Yeah. Thought I'd bring her some tea. Help her feel better. Mm-hmm. Kind of sick? It's just tea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, oh no. How much do you know about the chip? What was that oh, about? It turns out when a secret government agency studies vampires and puts chips in their brains that keep them from hurting people, they don't really build websites. Is it because he was hurting people while the chip is still on his head? Even though it didn't work, now it's, I don't know. It didn't work back then when he was killing people. Now somehow it's working. Mike was able to hurt all those people when he was brainwashed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he was under the control of the first. Maybe something's wrong with it. The chip is misfiring all on its own then. I don't think the chip stopped working. I think the chip only works when he is subconsciously willing to hurt people. But I'm not sure why it's firing up right now. Have fun delivering the tea. <sighs> okay, not when you make it sound all dirty like that. No, please, don't apply this. I don't want it. It's still too soon for this, come on. For someone who's sick, you look surprisingly robust and casual dressy. Maybe it's just- You were never sick. No. She pretended, so- Oh, you are so busted. She won't go. I have my own mission. And I need your help. This is a mission? Oh. Yeah. Come on, come on, just hang out with me a little. You're sexy when you pout. Oh. She, she is trying to go on a date with her. But this is not how it works, Kennedy. All right, I'll stay for one drink. Then I'm going home. Okay. Am I bad for saying that? I don't want, you know, wanted to move on. I mean, it's not, it's not been that long since Tara died. It's so soon. I it just, I don't know. Am I bad for saying that? I don't want the writers to make Willow move on with another girl just yet. The fun part is the process of, of getting to know a girl. It's like, if you can just touch her just once, everything would be okay for both of you. Or if she's really hot, you just get her drunk, see if she comes on to you. Okay. Three years ago, that's when I knew. And it, it wasn't women. Woman. Just one. Lucky woman. Oh my god. That's another blood vessel, I think. Oh. There's got to be a reason why the chip is going all wonky. Well, maybe I wasn't meant to last this long. One more thing you and I have in common, eh, Pat? Try behavioral modification software throughout the ages. Okay. You're right. Spike. Do your parents know? Yeah. My mom was was all proud, like was making some political statement. We didn't see her mother's reaction to the news. We didn't even know that she told her parents. I didn't know. Tara and I are kind of private. I'm sorry. It must have were. I mean. Does she know about her death? A Agent Finn. Riley. She's calling Riley? Tell him we're having a problem with Spike's chip. Oh. Is this 
actually a flower shop? Maybe it's a wrong number, I don't know. Uh, this one seemed easier than the others. Probably just gonna fade. It was gone with the wind. Poor Spiky! I saw that and why you like me. I mean, you don't even know me. Have you seen you? And we like the same things. Yeah. For some reason, she kind of reminds me of season one Cordelia mixed with season three Faith. I don't know why. I like the way you speak. It's interesting. And your freckles. Likeable. <laughs> I'm not so into the magic stuff. I just don't know. <laughs> It's too soon for me, I guess, to see Willow with someone else. I feel like I need to be honest about something. Is something wrong? No. No, it's just... I think... I feel like she's pushing it a little bit. I like how she's confident and all, but like, it's a bit pushy. You should... No. If Frodo is okay, or I don't feel she's really okay, I don't know. Well, that was nice. What? Not used to literally knocking girls off of their feet with just the power of my own lips. Okay, are you gonna pick that up or? I don't. Oh God! Oh God! Excuse me. What is that? It's the man that I killed. Okay. Should they find any excuse to bring back forward? Guys, get Buffy, get Buffy, tell the first is back. No, I'm not the first. We're not interested in, in any of your evil lies. Guys, it's me. I'm me, I'm Will. Oh, what? Guys, come on. Ow. Buffy. You're not the first. You can't touch the first. Oh my god. Hey, bad touching. Everyone, please stop, it's me. <laughs> Spike in the background. Okay, say you're right, and you did do this to yourself. Why would your subconscious turn you into Warren? Is this has to do with how it's too soon for her to move on? Since she was kissing Kennedy while it happened? It's not like it's not okay to move on. I mean, the whole point is to move on. You can't live like this forever. But it's just too soon. Maybe they'll call back. Maybe they'll send help. Maybe we can't wait. I feel like Spike has just, you know, gave up. Can any go home? Come on. I mean, you turned into a guy. Maybe take a step back. <laughs> must have been traumatizing. You think the stuff's still good? We were pretty good when the initiative held me captive, yeah? Oh. Every time. I, I like that we're going back to the initiative. I'll get it. Supposed to get a call in the new trying to call Ryan and comes stuff. In. Hey, do we know some British guy named Robson? He was attacked. This Robson guy in England. Who? And Giles was there helping him. And there was a bringer. Sander. Robson blacked out, but the last thing he remembers is Giles's head about to get real familiar with the bringer's very sharp axe. Giles never mentioned any of this. Robson said yes. by the time he came to, there's no Giles. So, what are we saying? Maybe Giles just didn't want to talk about it. Or maybe he didn't make it. Look, I'm not saying it's a happy scenario, but we're dealing with a big bad that can be any dead person at Are all. you fucking because kidding me? Because if you me. want to infiltrate the inner circle of the Slayer. No yeah. way. When he showed up the next episode that Buffy's door was just, you know... Okay, they didn't show us how he got away, but I didn't assume that... He died and this is the first evil impersonating him. No way, don't do this, no. I swear to God. The one person she trusts more than anybody else. The first can't take corporeal form, so it can't touch anything. Well, it's not like Giles hasn't touched anything, right? H has anyone seen Giles touch anything since he got back? No way, not no way in hell. At the start of the episode, he asked, he asked the... Uh, uh, Dawn to carry that book for him. I'm not sure he's like here for two episodes, three episodes. I didn't notice if he touched or didn't touch anything. No way, don't do this, I swear to God. Hold anything? Think very hard. Please. Wait, Are you we're, kidding we're in, me? Desert. Leave me here alone. I'll, I'll do something evil, like burning something or gluing things together. 
Okay, that's easy for right now. Better. It's getting better, definitely. I know, they're out there all alone. All of them. No way, no way, no way in hell. I don't accept it. Like, they, they won't do this dirty like this. Come on. Willow, we actually met when I was a freshman. And also not a boy. The wake group! See that the balance is put right. Ah! It didn't work? No, it didn't, you dumb bitch! Willow, you slapped me. No, I, 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 I didn't. It wasn't me. It was Warren. Okay, what the hell's going on? I'm turning into him. It's not a trick, it's not a glamour. I'm becoming him. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. They just left him. Mm. The All the off. demons. I was gonna say it feels nostalgic, but nah, doesn't. Don't cry, Willow. Look at me, I'm crying like a little girl. Oh my God, she's really turning into him. How is this happening? Buffy, where'd they go? They took off. It was a little too creepy, even for us. Even for you, Amy? And she's dealt with a lot worse. Long before she ever went out and found herself a big old potential slayer bodyguard, okay? Just have a little faith in her. I never said I was a potential slayer. Oh. No, I think you did. When you first got here, you told us... No. That... How did you know who I was? Oops. But she's not the first. She's a willow. Oh, not now. Not now, Spike. Yeah, not now. Spike! Oh my god. What is he gonna do with him? Oh, same model as last time? How'd that work out for you? You'd be amazed. How is she turning to Warren? This episode is killing me. Touch him! Touch him! Oh, I feel like so You're touching! Me too. You we all feel each other. Oh this got me, oh my Some god. Like we had to make sure you're okay, we were worried. Oh. God. Now wait a minute. Thought... They you thought you're evil? the evil. If I bring a group of girls on a camping trip and don't touch them? <laughs> I've been put in the <laughs> Best line ever. Oh my god. Hey. Are you still with us? Well, that guy was just the beginning. What's happening? Miss Summers, Agent Finn reported that you tried to contact him earlier today. I knew it! <laughs> the flowers. <laughs> he indicated you might be needing our assistance. So we're not gonna see Riley. I, I, want, I wanna see Riley. I kinda miss him. Is it kinda weird to say that? But I really miss him. Specialty, what was his name? What was his name? The friend that I, the, that I had a crush on. What was his name? Damn it, I can't remember his name. Dude, I had a, a huge crush on that, on that guy. Remember guys? You know what, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> oh, Graham, damn it. <laughs> Provide you anything you need to help Bass Face here. Ass Face? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Riley. Those were his exact words, man. Oh, Riley. That team tells me they took a look at the chip. It's degraded. Leave it as it is much longer to be fatal to them. Okay. So, uh, how long? Did... Now, ma'am. Can they take it off? Right. Agent Finn said it was your call, ma'am. My... What was my call? All decisions regarding Hostile 17 are to be left in your hands. Oh. We can either repair it or remove it. Oh. Oh, so there's a there's a choice between these two, repair it or remove it. Oh my God, what would she choose? That is interesting. What would she choose? I thought the choice would be either they leave it and he dies or they take it off. And since there's no way she will let Spike die, she would choose Lara, but now it's interesting. Tell me why you did this to her. She's doing, doing this to, to her? Does she have some lingering negative feelings about last time? I put a hex on her. She put a hex on her? But why Warren? 
Careful, Amy. Why do you have you to turn into your hate? mother. This is not about hate. It's about power. Willow always had all the power. Long before she even knew what to do with it. Jealous much? And the rest of us? We had to work twice as hard to be half as good. I didn't notice back then that she was kind of jealous that magic was too easy for Willow. She almost destroyed the world. And yet everyone keeps on loving her. So what's wrong with having a little fun, huh? Taking her down a peg or two? She's turning I'm into a mother. I'm not the bad guy here. But I wonder where he'd be right about now. That was a hell of a thing. God, oh my God. Think you can just do that to me? That I'd let you get away with it? The moment I saw what she sent her, I had that deja vu in here. Willow saying the exact same thing that Warren said back then when he killed Tara. Oh my God. Ooh. Wait, get away with... Okay. I made it happen and I'll make it stop. What did you make happen? You were there, bitch. You saw it. I killed her. You mean him. Her. Him. You know what I mean. But you said her. No, that was Warren. No. No, it wasn't. You said I was there. Wait, wait, what? Who did you kill, Willow? It was your fault, slut. You tricked me. Got me to forget. Tara. Shut up! Shut up, you... Oh my god, come on, go, go back, go back, go back, go back, I'll go back. Tara. Shut up! Shut up! Not told you, she's not ready to move on yet. Say her name. I can't hold on. I, he's winning. I kissed you just, just for a second, but it, it was enough. I let her go. I didn't mean to. Kissing me didn't mean no. to. She was never gone. She was with me. We should have been forever. And I, I let her be dead. She's really dead. And I killed her. Willow, no. Please, baby. I'm so sorry. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come back. Oh, dude. <laughs> The, the actor, the actor's name is Adam, he's right? Doing he's doing good. Just like fairy tales. What are you doing? Bringing you back to life. I'm back. Oh, are you all right? I have no idea. I'll make you some tea. I don't know what to feel or how to feel it. For some reason, I feel like since Candy is too different from Tara, maybe that's what Willow needs right now. But this episode proved one thing to me is that I am on the Willow Tara train still. And it just. Like, for me, nobody can replace Tara. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody can even come close. And whether it's acting or writing, something about Candy that is not likable, I don't know, she seems nice. Though, she sometimes comes off as entitled and a little bit pushy, but she seems nice. But I guess the problem for me is that how they're making Willow move on with another girl this soon. I mean, they didn't have to do it. But poor Willow felt like, but poor Willow felt like she's letting Tara go by kissing Kennedy, you know, and she's not ready to let go yet. And that's fine, you know? I hated how they teased us with this whole possibility of Giles being dead and that the first evil is impersonating him because that will be fucking tragic. I swear to God. You know what, I feel like I have to watch the last two episodes, three episodes to see if really Giles haven't touched anything. Because man, if he hadn't, sure, they went through a lot of trouble. <laughs> Seriously, I mean like going through all that trouble to fool us. Come on. But anyway, I'm curious what Buffy would choose. 
I have a feeling that she's going to choose to remove it. I mean, it's not, it's not working anyway, especially with, with, when dealing with the first evil. So, yeah, plus he has soul now. Though I feel like the others, Scooby again, would totally be not okay with it. But I love how Riley just made an order to leave it up to Buffy. I mean, he could have easily given an order to, you know, either repair it or remove it. But man, I love how he let Buffy to have that decision. Kudos to him. Character development, even if he's not here anymore. Love that. Anyway, really love the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you my reaction and see you in the next video. Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Have a wonderful day. Today we're going to be reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 7, Episode 14. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. I understand. I'll take care. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ripper. It was uh, extraordinarily good luck, of course. And, and, uh, and training. training. Years of training. training. Uh, you all new here, Chao An. So take note. Remember about training. This is new potential. The largest part of it was instincts. Instincts and, and <laughs> reflexes. Like another sense. Ah! Hey! Hey! You're not, not in pain. pain. And he's not in pain. Did she remove it? Why didn't your chip go off? When we were at the initiative. There was a choice. Right. <laughs> I have the seeds on the choice. <laughs> he's like, I, I, I didn't ask for it. She did. You had it remo You. Removed the chip? Yeah. <laughs> I make a choice. Surprise! It really is okay. Why on earth did you make that decision? I guess it was instinct. Like you were talking about? <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> I knew the bringer was there. I mean, Slayer instincts are never wrong, just saying. He can be a good man, Giles. I feel it. But he's never gonna get there if we don't give him the chance. I think I'm losing sight of the big picture, but I'm not. When Spike had that chip, it was like having him in a muzzle. It was wrong. You can't beat evil by doing evil. I know that. Well, I hope you're right. Buffy is right here. On so many levels, she is right. The chip was working when he was killing those people, but because he was being controlled and he had no idea that he was hurting people, the chip didn't fire off. It's useless as protection against the first evil. And he has a soul now. Yes, there's a deep connection between them. There's no denying that. But Buffy has always proved to have good instincts about things. And most of the time, she's right. Robin, Mr. Wood. Now, if I were a sign of being evil, where would I be? On the top of the hell mouth. <laughs> That's a pretty huge sign. Um, what are you doing tonight? I'd like to take you out to dinner if that's all He's right with you. Asking her. I mean, you don't to have dinner. to. I'm certainly not saying come to dinner if you enjoy having a job. <laughs> you know, I may have to <laughs> documents. Come to dinner if you enjoy having a job. Man, I I really wish he's not evil. I I kind of enjoy his character. I'd be happy to have dinner with you. Great. I'll draw up the paperwork. But he's on to her. He knows. Man, how I can read. Who or what did he just kill? Why do you think he asked me out? I mean, he could be interested, right? Yeah, sure. You're a uh, first definitely. There's some ulterior motives. Or, or it could be work related. Maybe I'm getting promoted for doing such a good job. <laughs> 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 He's really interested. Are you interested back? He's good looking and he's he's solid, he's smart, he's normal. So we don't know about energy. that. Yeah, I mean I I think I like him. And it'd be good for me. Hope you move on. Why does everybody in this house think I'm still in love with Spike? No, I I meant move on. She said I'm still in love with that's does that mean she was in love with Spike to begin with? I'm pretty sure that's the first time she ever even alludes to the possibility of having been in love with Spike. Buffy, you just said you were in love with Spike. Why does everybody in this house think I'm still in love with Spike? Think no, I'm I, still I, I mean, in love with Spike. Uh, I was concerned that my Mandarin is a little thin. As it turns out, she speaks Cantonese. <laughs> Which is 
thinner. And as I suspected, ice cream is a universal language. A whole dog junk got yen and yam that ngong eye. Ngong home seafood. What'd she say? She's grateful to be in a land of plenty. Let's um, go and put away your new clothes. They're doing it. They're, they're doing it, man. They do the weird thing where the English speaker somehow think being louder will make a non-English speaker understand. <laughs> Such a classic, man. Getting the most out of your new microwave. Clock, comma, setting the page three. You don't need a manual. It's intuitive. God. There's a button mark clock set for pity's sake. What kind of a nerd are you? First Evo is back at it again. Get thee behind me. I rebuke thee. Take Across. That first. I have an assignment for you. I follow Buffy's orders now. I'm redeeming myself for killing you. <laughs> Why? So you can earn a spot on her little pep squad? A lot of her people are murderers. Interesting. And you're the only one she makes seek redemption. Does that seem fair to you? I guess not. You know, Call for someone, you know, Andrew. The They're just little girls. You want me to hurt the girls? Um, no, not all of them. Just the potential slayers. I'm I'm gonna scream and and get Buffy in here. Uh, scream! You don't have to stab. This will be easy. Willow brought something to this house. Something good. Something you can use. The new microwave. <laughs> the gun. No, I wasn't talking about she your date. She looks so cute. I was talking about this sham date of Xander's. I think it's part of a plan to make me jealous. Well, it's not working. Are you nuts? Of course it's working. Uh, observe my my bitter ranting. Hear the shrill. Man, she's so straightforward. Pledge of hysteria. My I love her. How do you got a date? Well, it's unclear. I mean, I have this whole theory about a promotion. Or he's evil. <laughs> Buffy, I'm all right. Really, I'm all right. I think I still dream of a crip for two with a white picket fence. My eyes are clear. I'm glad. Why are they not together right now? <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because back in season five, I was like, I was under the impression that they're going to be together once he gets his soul. But then season six happened and they got together while he didn't have a soul. And now in season seven, he has a soul, but they're not together. What the hell? What the hell? I don't know. Nothing goes the way I want. Never much cared for picket fences anyway. Bloody dangerous. He looks you so good and uh, kind of normal. Thing, you know? I mean. Even the way he dresses right now is different. He does look like a vampire with a soul, you know? I, I should go. I don't want to be late. You can't be all right with this. Lisa, hi. I was afraid you weren't coming. It's kind of rough, isn't it, if you're not used to that. You know what? Oh, she touched the cup. I was like, she's either first evil or demon. She must still be a demon, so. Giles made them for Chow Ann, and now she's locked herself in the bathroom. And there's other girls upstairs, and they're starting to complain. <laughs> these are flashcards. I, I made them to facilitate her training. Problem. You showed her these? <laughs> I wanted to tell the seriousness. Scary! Actually, Buffy's investigating Principal Wood. It's not a date. Really? Might be a date. For God's sake, how can anyone think about their social life? Giles, haven't you learned anything? There's always something. Social life comes first. Didn't you see the flashcards? This isn't right. Andrew! I promise you, it's just a little bit further. Okay. <laughs> Just brought her here and disappeared. Set me up, you son of a. I guess we should talk. Yeah, I guess you should. So wasn't that a setup? The restaurant's right there. Okay. He knows that she's a slayer. But I've taken out a vamp here or there and some demons. So you're a freelance. <laughs> Freelance, I guess that's a good way to put it. You know who I am. You're the slave. He slayer. knows. Right. I maneuvered myself into that school, that office, just like I maneuvered you there. The hell mouth draws the bad things in close. So, you, you didn't hire me for my counseling skills? <laughs> no. They're valuable, too. 
<laughs> Why didn't you? Even when I had the same reaction, come on, <laughs> poor Buffy. Well, now the fight is starting, or it's starting to start. I don't have time to worry anymore. I have to do something. But why did he bury Jonathan? How do you know about Slayers? Yeah. See, when I was a little boy, my mother was one. The one, actually. The Slayer. Introducing a child of Slayer? Holy shit! Wow, I... I, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I, since all Slayers died before you know, getting that far old, you don't assume that they would have children. Do you have any Slayer powers? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just... Yeah, I wanna know. No, I don't have powers. I'm just a guy with a few skills because her watcher took me in and raised me. Oh, wow, man, I love this. I love his character even more now. Wow. Show me the gun. Here. Dude, this Andrew man, he has no willpower whatsoever. Do you have any weaknesses I should know about if I'm gonna work for you? So I wanna <clears throat> know stuff like when, when do we kill Buffy? Are you wearing a wire? <sighs> what? What's going on? You're the first, and you're trying to get me to shoot innocent girls, but I won't do it. Andrew! I'm good now. And when the fight is over, I'm gonna pay for killing Jonathan. You're gonna pay for more than that because the biggest, baddest, first evil in the world's angry with you. You, you only hear what I want you to hear. You only see what I want you to see. <gasps> so many dead girls. There will be so many. I knew it. See? I knew it. Thanks for your help. <laughs> oh, poor, 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 poor Sandra. I mean, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be laughing, but man, I can't, I can't stop. It can't just keep happening that demon <laughs> women find me attractive. There's gotta no, be no correction. You find demon women attractive. <laughs> oh, it's from Xander. This one's either. I just got lucky, don't call me for a while, or my date's a demon who's trying to kill me. You don't remember which? Well, if we play the percentages. Something's eating Xander's head. Hey, that's gratifying. Buffy will know what to do. I'll go get it. That's okay. <laughs> oh, Spike wants to end the day real quick. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> well, how are you doing here? It's Xander. She like siren or something. Oh, that makes me think. Um, uh, the first evil uh, got Andrew to kill Jonathan to open that seal. But then when um, Principal Wood buried Jonathan, first evil was like to Andrew, blood wasn't enough to open the seal. And like he made him get a pig and try to finish it off. So I think Principal Wood was trying to stop the seal from opening. This is why he took Jonathan's body and buried it. So how do you two know each other? He works with me. Uh, you know, in a struggle against evil. Hmm, cool. He's a vampire. He's a good vampire, he's a good vampire. She's killing ass. Oh. Uh, she's kicking ass. Goodbye, bitch. She's so worried about him. What happened? What do you think happened? <laughs> Another demon woman was attracted to me. I'm going gay. I've decided I'm turning gay. Willow, gay me up. Come on, let's gay. What? You heard me? Just tell me what to do. I, I'm mentally undressing Scott Bakula. Well, what are you doing? Come on. Let's... What if you just start attracting male demons? <laughs> Clem always liked you. Oh, I'm dying. It, uh, it talked to the little boy. 
Said it wasn't time for me yet. I should move out. Leave town. Before it is time for me. You have to stay. Oh, you've got mm. another demon fighter now. That's not why I need you here. Is that right? Why is that then? Because I'm not ready for you to not be here. I... Oh my god, just kill me slowly. And the principal? How does he fit in? Let's not talk about the principal right now. You look good. You're not my mother. She's the slayer that Spike killed in the subway. <laughs> Damn it, I love this show. Dude, she's not the yeah, same actress, right? Way. Did he recognize Spike? As the one who killed her? I don't think I don't think that he know Oh my god. Would you like to know who killed me? I know you went looking for him. You don't know anything. You met him. You know him. You fought at his side. Spike. Shit. Now, what do you say? Thank you. Shit. Shit. Man, damn it. Damn it. Oh my god. Fuck, they introduce the child of the Slayer that Spike killed in the subway, man. Like the continuity with the show, man. Like, man, you know. Like that scene in Fool for Love when he was fighting, you know, this slayer, principal was mother. It was such, you know, a huge part of the show. So to have her son being introduced. In the final season, man, wow. I love them when they do that. Amazing shit. Anyway, I need to go, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll my reaction and see you in the next video.